as always with my videos, it's going wrong from the start. Right, guys. <laughs> so, you may have seen the video I put up yesterday. And that video, let's be fair, it was an okay video. Um, and I... I've got the speakers in my workshop with my work computer and um, it sounds a certain way. It sounds really good. And I then watched it on my TV in the house last night uh, to see what it was like. And as I was watching it, something I realised was go, doing playing a sound font then playing again and again from that camera and that camera. It wasn't really that great. It was just at the very end the very end of the video, uh, there was about a two minute section where I was just, um, I had one sound font on, I was just unplugging and plugging back in the next speaker. So, um, it made me realise that at that point, that gave me the best realisation to how the sound actually worked. Um, and I also realised in the video that actually the sound didn't really work that well from different angles. So. This morning, I've gone over all the video footage last night uh, from yesterday, and I have uh, played the same clip on the from the cam, the uh, microphone, and the mobile. And out of all the different um, options, out of the three options of which sounded the best, uh, I've got to be honest: the camcorder captured the most realistic representation of what I was hearing so when you watch this video this is how it sounds to me as close as humanly possible and that's really important that's a huge thing it has to be as close as possible to what it sounds like for me so that you know and you can hear what I hear now this is key yesterday I just got uh, I got the speaker and I put it in a piece of metal I was trying to be more scientific um, ooh, it makes very good scratching tool this. Uh, and then I got the other speaker and I did the same sort of thing with a smaller piece of metal and to be scientific. And as much as that was great, it wasn't scientific -y enough. It wasn't good enough. And it annoys me because I want this to be as fair as possible because I have had an incredibly lovely customer and YouTube subscriber send me this very expensive speaker from uh, Smuggler's Outpost and I have got to be as completely and utterly fair uh, and impartial to the results of this this test uh, to do him justice and to say as a thank you to him I've got to do the best I can on this so <laughs> it's way more complicated now um, right, so we have the same battery, we have the exact same battery pack. Uh, it was suggested, and a very good suggestion, and last night it did come to me as well, that actually um, it might not be the speaker, it might be the sound font. Um, and it might be the case that the sound font is what uh, is defining the quality of the audio. Uh, the better the, th the better and clearer the sound file, the better it will be with the speaker. So if I had a if I went to um, uh, a place and bought a, uh, a specific sound font made uh, that was a beautiful sound font, crisp clear notes, it may be a case that the twenty eight mil speaker would capture that and do a much better job. It may be that mine does a better job. Who knows? Um, so. I was going to get a sound font, but then I realised that what I'm actually running at the moment is, if you can see here, it's just the old version of the Dark Wolf uh, RGBX soundboard. So I can't put a sound font on it, grudgingly. Um, but what I have done, it's exactly the same setup as yesterday. So we've got the battery, we've got the soundboard, the LED light, and the switch. Exactly the same as yesterday. Nothing has changed there. But instead of using some pieces of metal on the foot, sat down on a thing, I have made this. This is going OTT, to be honest. Inside here, there's two holes to let the wires come out, and you can just see there, and you can just see there, all the core of this is packed, packed full of foam. Um, and it's 
this sort of foam that I'm using inside because it, it does a great job for compression it also does a great job for um, vibrations and allowing that so on one side we have the 28 mil speaker from pad from you know, Panama Post, uh, 28 mil speaker from Smuggler's Outpost on the other side we have my 24 mil bass speaker okay so that's a oh that's a bit camper. and then secondly as you can see here there's a switch and on this one there's a switch so when I'm testing this, all I have to do, if I want to leave this one, I can do turn it off, turn it on, turn it off, turn it off. I can jump around on the sound fonts really quickly, straight away in fact. Um, and by doing that, I'm hoping to cut out the whole unplugging, plug it in, so that we can hear straight away the difference. So I'm going to tilt the camera down. You're going to be able to see everything that's going on. Okay, right. So, um, slide the battery over there. Right, so I'm going to press. Uh, right. So they're both turned off. I'm going to turn this one on now. I'm going to turn that one on and turn that one off. That one. Okay, so you, you get where I'm going with this, yeah? So, I'm going to try, um, I'm going to start with the 24mm bass speaker. That is quieter. That is much louder, much louder. That's almost double the volume. As you can see, I'm pointing to which speaker is going on at the moment. Right, so let's try this. So, as you heard then, yeah, there was, uh, I'll, I'll, play, I'll play on that with this one because you can hear it better. There's, uh, there's a strange sort of static in the sound file. It's not the speaker. I don't think it's a speaker. At all. I really don't. What's that whiz smell? No, it's just me. I'm just losing my marbles. There's... There's no... I, I don't think it's a speaker. I think it's a sound font. I think it's a core sound font on here that's generating this strange static sound. You can hear it on this one much more because it's louder, I th and that's my thinking. But you can't hear it as much on this one because it's a small speaker and it's a bit quieter. So let's try a different sound font, shall we? It sounds like it sounds like they both ha like a lot of these sound fonts have a lot of static on them. Princess. Okay, let's try that.
gesture controls. Also, can I just show um, that this has one inch of space again. Um, let me get my ruler. I don't know if my ruler will fit inside that. Oh, it will do. Right, so that has, upside down of course, right. Uh, for God's sake. Right, so that's where it comes to. So that's how much space that speaker has inside. Okay, so that's the resonance chamber. The 24 mil speaker has, obviously it's got, it's in its chassis, but it has the same one inch space. So uh, I forgot to mention that. To be, for fairness, I needed to include that uh, as well. So, right, let's try a different sound font. What is this mismatch? It's on that one. Okay, so there we are guys, um, that was a comparison between the 28 and the 24mm speaker, um, this definitely, definitely louder, I'm not going to lie, uh, I'd say it's about 20-30% to 30 louder without a doubt, definitely on the 28mm speaker, so is that necessarily a good thing, I'm not sure. Now, a lot of people don't like their lightsaber being on full blast because they say it's too loud. Um, which is, you know, which is absolutely fine. Um, the 24mm speaker, absolutely, it's a, at least 23% quieter than the 28mm bass. At least 23% 20, uh, quieter. Um, I think the problem is more to do with the quality of the sound files because they both have the same static but because the 24mm speaker is a little bit quieter you don't hear that static as much uh, as with the 28mm speaker excuse me there is a message for you as with the 28mm speaker you really do hear that much the static because it's so much louder but regardless of that if you were to get the Sabre, which would you prefer? Let me bring the camera back up. So, regardless of the, which, which, the size, um, if you didn't know which one was playing, which one would you go with? Uh, would you go with the louder one? Um, what was I going to say? Would you go with the louder one because it sounds better? Or would you go with the uh, the 24mm speaker, the quieter one, because it sounds clearer in the in regards to less static in the the, the, the speaker? Now, some people will buy a Xenopixel and put their own sound fonts on, and you'll have and all that will mean then, if I'm right, is when you have one of those sound fonts on, like a really high end quality sound font, it means that the 24mm speaker will be a little bit quieter than what you would get with a 28 but quality wise they sound exactly the same. I don't think the quality was any better, and I don't mean to be horrible, I don't think the quality of the audio was any better on the 28mm speaker than the 24mm speaker. I think both speakers were dead on matched for the quality of audio. I just, I, 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 I know for a fact the 28 mil speaker is a good 23% louder. So at the end of the day, 
if you take into consideration that I mean when I when I have my sabers on and this is a Dark Wolf pod these are way louder uh, the 24 mil speaker is way way louder um, if I got my if I had anything to hand hang on so with this here this is this is the chassis it's a 24 mil speaker it has no resonance chamber that is way louder than what that is on this setup and that's because of the board that I'm using um, that that is way louder so the 20 more 24 mil speaker is really loud when it's got that data given to it and the info given to it for the audio so the vast majority of the time I turn my 24 mil speaker down because it's too loud so and then obviously with the 28 mil speaker it'd be even louder so which would you go with uh, not for the volume we're, we're going to outright outright uh, the volume because I've just proven the 24 mil speaker is even louder than 28 28 mil speaker on this setup so it's not the volume don't pay attention to the volumes listen to the quality of the audio and let me know what you think is best would you go with a 24 mil or would you go with a 28 mil for quality of sound that's what we're judging here and, and please put your comments below and let me know what you think i will also do this test again with a xeno pixel but i need i need some more xeno pixels i'm running very low at the moment and they're very very expensive so let me know your thoughts guys put your comments below and hopefully one day in the near future i can do the same test again with the xeno pixel board okay see you later guys